Hello and welcome back for another clarinet tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. My name is Chris Allison and I'm going to play this lovely piece by Paul Harris called Promenade. It's set for grade one clarinet in the ABRSM syllabus. It's the B2 piece. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard the music, let's say a few words about the detail and what you need to play in there to make it sound really super. So I think the first thing that strikes me, the two main things that strike me when I play this is that um, it comes in with a nice big confident sound and we have that 3-4 pulse. It sounds very waltz-like, doesn't it? So I want to be giving a really strong, strong pulse on the downbeat of every bar. Um, so I would come in on this one and I'd really sort of so really clear sense of pulse here and I think that ties in with the oral test doesn't it because when you when you hear some of those pieces on the oral tests um, you'll hear a clear indication of the pulse it's either going to be two or three that you've got to recognize and and you can really hear it in the piano part as well can't you if I just play an extract from that So you can really hear that one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So if the piano is playing it nice and clearly like that, then you know your playing has got to be nice and clear too. So really make it sound, you know, really jolly and very waltz-like. And then let's just talk about the phrasing detail a little bit. Now I must confess, when I first played this, I kind of automatically wanted to play da 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 da. da. I just wanted to do that phrasing, but. It's actually marked to slur the first three notes, but then do that phrasing on the second bar, isn't it? So more... <laughs> Having a lot of bubbles lately. Let's talk about how to do that. So notice it slurs down to the A there, but it's marked staccato as well. So it basically means that you're going to slur onto that note but then you're going to use the tongue to sort of stop the note, to clip it off. Um, so it's what I would call phrasing off. <clears throat> so D da D ya da dum. So you're still going to slur to that note, but then use the tongue to clip off the end of the note. I hope that's clear. So if I do that in slow motion. <laughs> so I didn't tongue that A, I still slurred onto it. But then I finished the sound, I just kind of phrased off, as I, as I would call it. And that kind of, you know, that goes on all the way through, doesn't it, basically? You, you've got a lot of that going on. Um, so most of the tune is, is actually mostly the same, isn't it? Um, and then the same phrasing again. So it's a very happy tune from summer sketches. So I assume it's presume it's something to do with um, you know those joyful summer holidays which we're coming up to quite soon. And dynamic wise, so nice big confident sound. And then when we get to bar 14, 15, 16, 17, clear back black and white dynamics here. So we've gone from forte, nice big sound, right down to a nice soft piano. But 
but then a big swooping sound up to the MF there, up to the A. Just be careful um, when beginners tend to do that. It's quite easy to squeak, I think, for beginners. So just watch your grip there. Just be careful that you um, don't squeak on that A. And then to just finish that phrase. And notice there, so D, E, F, but then G, F sharp, G, and then down to your low G. Um, so just watch that octave jump there. Just be careful that all those fingers go down really accurately together. What else have I written on this one? I think that's kind of it. Um, that's, I think if you get that first half really, really correct, it mostly plays itself after that, doesn't it? Um, the tune comes back again, but in a piano, um, but then it finishes with forte again. So a lovely, jolly little tune from Paul Harris, this one. I think if you're really clear with the dynamic levels, get the phrasing, phrasing detail really neat and tidy. I think you're on for a winner with this one. It's not too, it's one of those tunes that you can really easily pick up on. It's not one that you're gonna forget quite easily, I don't think. Um, you can really latch onto this tune quite easily. And breathing wise, I think there's a really clear four bars per breath here, so try and, play it at a tempo that you can manage those four bar phrases. Um, so I think just about, just at a glance, it looks like every phrase is a four bar phrase. Um, so if you can get a really clear four bars per breath, I think that will really help. So I think that's all I need to say on the tutorial side of things. Quite, um, quite quick this one. If you've got any questions, of course, you can put them in the comment section. You can click that like button if that's something that you're into. And um, if you want to contact me on my website, then the information, the website details is in the description there, as well as the, the timestamps for this video. I'm going to play the backing track now for you to play along with yourself. And I'm going to put it at two different speeds, two different tempos. So choose the tempo that suits you. There's the tempo that I played it at. And then there's also a slightly reduced tempo. If you're in the early stages of playing this and you want to just play it a little bit steadier, there's a slightly slower tempo that you can play along with too. So choose the one that suits you. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three.